So this game has a really cool thing going with it. And it's not just the fact that this is my first Dwarf Light. I like the music. I like a lot of stuff about it. And I didn't think I would return to it for a second stream, but then a bunch of settlers arrived and they needed my help. Again, this isn't going to be the most action-packed. There, no, there will not be any zombie shooting, but there will be some... There will be some... Chill. Vinny, we actually just commissioned a second album for the music. Do you mean, um... There's gonna be more tracks in the game? Cool. So, you, you have to tell me, you, you definitely got that from the Secret of Mana sound font, right? You don't have to- you know what? Just blink twice if you got that from Secret of Mana. Um... So, I'll tell you what's going on currently. Um, there's settlers... You're the community manager and the devs trusty sidekick. Oh, okay. Uh, what was the update today, if you don't mind me asking? Like, any- anything in a nutshell? Bug fixes, or...? So anyway, the settlers are arriving, there's a lot of them, and they're bringing food with them. And, um... What the idea is, I need to make them some rooms, because... This shit's gonna get kinda crazy. There's, there's gonna be a lot of people in here. So... Um, I have to remember how to play the goddamn game. And I need some people who can mine. There, we have some good miners. They've been mining without any... Without any tools, actually. Which is kind of... Kind of fucked up. Um, that's why I'm trying to get all, all the settlers' tools so that they can... Dig a little bit more efficiently. Instead of having to, like, carve through rock with their bare hands. I mean, they seem to be okay with it. But I'm still kind of overwhelmed by the... By the game. So this dude can mine. So, we're gonna throw a stone pickaxe on this lad. Um... It would be cool if there was a way to sort by people who could do specific tasks. I know that... I'm throwing suggestions out there and I barely even know what I'm doing, but like, if I could sort through the people who are miners... That would be cool. Um... And hang on a second. It says, new events, bread and flour for winter, bug fixes, combat stuff gets updated soon. I see. That was the update. Alright, so we have a number of people who, are, will, be, who will be using the pickaxes. And I think that's all of them. Alright, so now... If I'm not mistaken... All the food has been relocated. No, there's some some seeds still. But... I think now we can start mining a bit. So here's how you do it. Um, I'm not gonna explain how the game works, because I barely know myself. I'm still figuring that out, but, um... So I go to mining. Now I want to make some rooms. So we're gonna go... We need- we need bedrooms, and I, I don't want them to look shitty, because my stuff has been looking kind of shitty lately. I think that'll work. 
So that's the that's under the mountain. For anyone that doesn't know what you're looking at, this is under the mountain two floors. This is one floor up. Those are the stairs. And here's the, the main entrance right here. So you can see people are just chilling. Um, I can throw some people on. This is the, the primary level. So I have to get some wheat harvested and a mushroom harvested. Um, some loggers can start cutting some wood that is now available. I'm going to set a zone, which is an area where stuff goes for seeds over here. So now they'll just automatically bring their seeds over here. Okay, so we got a bunch of people on mining duty and they're working and they're working efficiently, much more efficiently than before. Um, this is a zone for food and I don't like how that looks. So I'm going to make that zone go away. I'm going to put raw food over here. And this, I will take this away from the raw food. So they should be moving the raw food over here. There's like a, a priority. When is the Mother 3 finale? Uh, maybe tomorrow or maybe Saturday. Did you see what Sphinx said about crates? If you put a farm room over your crops, they will get auto-harvested and planted so you don't have to worry about them. A farm room? Over your crops. I don't have a whole lot of crops to begin with, but... So... Farm. I see. Which would actually make a lot of sense if I, you know, I should probably do a little bit more of that right now. So I want to get some farm space. Oh wait, no, 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 it's jobs. No, it's, um, zones? No, what is it? Ah, oh, fuck. It's bu build. No, it's, um, build. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Plant some carrots. We'll plant some... We don't really have a lot of others. Oh, potatoes. We can plant potatoes. Potat. I'm running out of room for just random crap. Like, resources. So I need to add more space for that. My end goal is to eventually, like, build, like, an army. But for now, I just want these things, these lads, to survive. And we have a lot of lads at the moment. There's a lot of workers with more kids. Sphinx said you can make crates to use less zone rooms. Um... Sorry, I, it's hard for me to read the chat and, and talk at, and, uh, you know, read and play at the same time, so... So I need to make some crates. So it'll store them in the crates. After you put them down, just put a zone over them, or you can customize each crate. Okay. Well, you can see they're doing, you know, they're bringing all this stuff out. They have to, like, take all that shit, and they have to bring it all the way out. It's a massive amount of work. So, items, no permitted items selected. So then I put a zone over them. So if I want to put, like, um, raw food 
then the crates, they'll, they'll put stuff in the crates. Interesting. Bins are like crates, but for raw materials. You mean, um, like this kind of stuff? Out here? Like stone and shit? Or is that, um... Like, can I assign resources to these crates? Oh, I can uh, Okay, so these crates were a waste. That was a bit of a mistake. So then I have to do bins for them. Okay. Wooden bin. I saw it. Wooden bin. I'll make six over here. Okay. Um, okay, well... They built some extra rooms. We can turn these into... into bedrooms. So our new people have places to fucking sleep. Filter by... So stone bed, I can make, I can make some stone beds. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five for now. And then they're going to clean out the rest of that stuff. They haven't put any stuff in the crates yet, in the containers. Yeah, it's like a dormitory. When you assign a bedroom, you have to make sure you check the boxes of the colonists who don't have bedrooms. Yeah, I think I did that. I think I did that last time. So, like, for example, if I do, um, rooms, I do bedroom. I can assign a bed. 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 There we go. They can sleep in these trashy, hollowed halls. Good for them. Proud of them. Okay, so the bins are done. I want to zone these bins for resources. And I think I want to deconstruct those other crates, because that was a mistake. Also, there's, there's no garbage. How come the garbage... ...didn't continue piling up? Weird, right? Are they eating the garbage? If you want to speed the climbing speed between the floors, you can build ladders at the bottom of tall shafts or stairs at the bottom of one tile drop. Okay. Yeah, I mean, this is a new genre for me, so that's kind of why I'm into it in some ways. Like, I, I'm, I'm open to the challenge of trying to learn how to do all this shit. It's not easy. For, it's not easy for me, but... I don't know, it's kind of, um... It's enticing, let's say. You're actually picking this up really fast for your first- for it to be your first game. Uh, I had help from the developer. Which was cool. And some other people in chat, too. So, I was able to get some help from, um, people that knew what the hell they were talking about, which is not always the case when I stream games, and I do appreciate the help. I always say that, I always mean it, but, you know, sometimes... ...it's like the blind... ...leading the blind. And that's to be expected, and that's fine, but, you know...
bronze ingots are now available. Uh, I think I want to cook some food. So we go to workstations, we go to campfire, and um, how many carrots do I have? I don't know how many carrots I have, actually. Is this correct? Am I, like, doing the cooking correctly? Vinny, have you ever thought about radio? Your voice is soothing. I guess streaming kind of is radio in current year, <laughs> if you think about it. If you click that button on the right edge next to an ingredient, you can make it auto-start when the number falls below. Um, okay, so you mean... You click the infinite icon. Set auto job, set max number. Ten. I think I get it. it not really. The off-putting thing, and this is going to sound a little lame, but the off-putting thing for me was that, in a lot of ways, um... You know, Dwarf Fortress does not have a visual. Like, you have to download mods to make it visual. And as a result of that, it was not something I wanted to necessarily play. I was worried that I wasn't going to get it. And, you know, again, the, the genre itself never really interested me. But now I kind of get why people like it. I'm gonna continue... digging. I'm gonna go this way. Keep thing. I, this is not a symmetrical base. So I want to add a little bit more symmetry to it, make it look a little bit nicer. We got food in here yet? No, I don't think we need food in there yet. If you want to optimize your food output, you should put another campfire room down by where your food is stored now. I could put a campfire room right here, actually. So I'll do that. But, um... Are you guys utilizing these things yet? No. I guess they haven't had a need to utilize them still. And we're out of wood. Wood must be collected. And while we're collecting wood, I think I need to plant as well. So there's a, that counts as farm, so build, and then, oh, trees. So I can build a bunch of oak trees. Or plant a bunch of oak trees, rather. So we get a bunch more wood. Vinny, you need to put away old zones so they can use the ones with crates bins. 
Yeah, I figured. I just don't think I have enough materials for such a thing just yet. I know I've said that a couple times, but... Okay, now the trash is starting to collect. So we have, um, this is where the food is. I'm going to move the food into a couple crates over here and see how that works. So we'll put just a couple wood crates over there. Those are going to be like cooked food wood crates. Um... They're just leaving the food out because there's not enough room. So ingots. I need to put ingots all... No. Uh, tools, refined materials. Could probably go in their own crates. God, it's so... Like, once you figure out... Like, once you get a little bit of that stuff in mind, it starts making sense. Refined materials go in bins? Oh shit, how do I cancel? Okay. <laughs> you can assign crates for gears and tools though. Okay. So then I'll make a couple crates as well. Okay, now I'm going to set a zone for cooked food on these crates, and I'm going to remove the zone for cooked food over there, so it's not just on the floor. Okay, they're actually putting stuff in the bins now, which is very encouraging. Let's see how much of this I can remove to get that stuff in bins, just to keep everything all neat. Uh, seeds can go in bins too, right? Or... <sighs> they move all the ingots by your forge over to those bins. Okay, so then let's do zones. And we'll go to refined materials right there. And then we're going to do a gear. Um... It seems like crates don't work for... Uh, yeah, crates don't work for uh, tools and gear. It's a weird split. No, no problem, no worries. Yeah, they're using the bins now. Which is awesome, because now I can just make more bins. Uh, while that's happening, I might see if uh, oh, we're doing some fishing. Maybe I can get a couple more fishermen. Workstations. Sorry, again, I can't really do good commentary to this until I figure out how to play it. But apparently some people enjoyed watching me figure out how to play this. Bronze Anvil. Do that. Okay, we could still do some more mining, though. We're not done carving out rooms. Whether they be for storage or otherwise. Um, this torch doesn't need to be here anymore. I can... I think I can deconstruct the torch. Yep, it works as expected. And I'm gonna build a fire pit. And it's... let's see. Rooms. 
campfire kitchen. What do you need for a kitchen? Wood table, bronze cauldron, and wood cabinet. I'm going to go for it, I think. I'm going to try to build a kitchen. Kitchen doesn't have a lot of recipes right now. I had two added in this most recent patch. Okay, so then we'll just stick with campfire. So this game is still really early. It doesn't feel really early, which is... I guess a pretty good thing. It seems like a lot of the... The brass tacks have been addressed. Wood stool, wood stool. Okay, so I need two wood stools. Build some more wood crates there, and build some wood stools. Got people gathering wood. This melon is mature. Okay, now these bins... These? These bins can be used for... Wow, bins don't work for gear, either. Can you fill that hole in the middle of your ground floor? This one? Stone tile flooring? Well, at the moment, there aren't many floors available. Wood plank surface, stone floor, or dirt cobble. I can just, like, do stone... ...and make all this look nice. God knows I have enough stone for it. And it's, you know, something for them to do. Stone floor and a cave surface, I know. I know, the, these... These lads are gonna be real mad at me. Okay, and then we can... You could skip time ahead, of course, which I just did for a second. And... This is raw food. We're still doing raw food. Again, hopefully going to... ...get some of this crap off the floor and into the bins. It's like there's a million things I want to do at once. But yeah, these, these still don't work, so... What do I need for... Uh, okay, floor is taking priority. Since floor isn't built yet... I can't do anything there. Need anvil? Alright, I'll build an anvil. I'm also going to build a couple bins down here, so they can just, uh... ...bin these materials right here, and that they don't have to run all the way up. There's some chickens. don't remember how to... I guess I have to select a settler and issue tame order. Which, every time I've tried this, it's just killed the chickens. You have to enable the tame job. 
Okay. I don't, I don't get it. Zone those bins you just made. Okay. Um, well, I need to actually get rid of some a bit, some of these bins because these aren't the ones I wanted. And they didn't actually make these bins yet. They went and got the materials and brought them out. So... Sucks. We have, uh, food is, is okay, I guess. Food's kind of... Okay, everyone's busy. Everyone's doing something. We're working on selecting villagers easier. It's sort of a hassle right now. Uh, a little bit. Yeah. I mean, I'm not really sure what I'm doing anyway, but... I can see it being, um, even easier than it is now. Also, wood is getting increasingly more difficult to come across. I've had these lads go and cut down mighty forests. And there's just wood over here. That's not being... You know, that's not being collected. Kind of a long way off, so... We'll get rid of that order. And I'm just gonna put, um, one quick resource zone on that bin. Stone chunks. We can fit way more stuff in the bins that are available. I'm gonna take down some more of these. Try to consolidate a little bit further. One day I'll figure out how to tame a chicken. It'll happen. For now, though, I'm content with killing a chicken. No, no, tame. I got a chicken. I got a chicken! It's now, it's now in the mountain house, in the, in the caves. This will be the room where the chicken lives right here. Perfect. Animal enclosures are a room type if you want the chicken to just live in that room. I do. I want the chicken to live in here. The chicken will now live in this room and do whatever it wants. So I have to keep feed in here? Try to tame an Impala and get it to release a new album this year. Little do you know, Tame Impala is currently working on a Bee Gees record. No, they will wander out of the enclosure to get food. Okay. They're making good use of these crates. Or, or of these bins. I keep saying crate instead of bin, but... I'm going to give them even more bins for storage.
Though I do have to deconstruct these, because these are not what I intended. Okay, so I have an anvil, which means I can do a smithy, which is a wood table, wood stool, bronze anvil. Wood table, wood stool, bronze anvil. So, wood stool, wood table, and we will then make a room for it. And then soon enough we can smith. I feel bad though, this chicken is kind of bored. We can give it some books to read. And, um... Like a throne. There we go. Now we in business. Okay, so, people need to fish, right? Right. So, the people that can fish, there's only a couple. Not all of them have fishing rods. Chicken, I cannot give the chicken any jobs. The chicken will not do anything to help us. Chicken does not have opposable thumbs, and therefore cannot contribute to society in any meaningful way. Everyone that can fish, can fish. Bit of a redundant statement, but... Accurate. In the code, chicken is actually a job. Take that as it is. Huh. So, what's this blueprint stuff here? Is this just a, like a compendium? It's like a wiki. Okay, so it's a compend. All right, okay. Do a little mining over there. Collect some uh, bronze and stuff. The chicken throne has been built. The age of Aegon the First. Aegon the Chicken, first of his name, has begun. Name the Chicken? Change name. In Game of Thrones, uh, in, you know... It's spelled A-E-G-O-N. Aegon. Aegon Targaryen. However, it's pronounced Egg. So there's like the story Duncan Egg. And uh, Egg, Egg is the nickname of Aegon. In this case, we're just gonna call... Aegon. The Chicken. Aegon Chicken. Chickarian. McNugget. All right, <laughs> that's pretty good, Zito. <laughs> the avatar is wonderful. <laughs> that looks like that fucking hamster that's in the fa you know, in the camera. Uh, so we can smith now. I just don't know how many of these items we can smith. 
That would be good information to have, I think. Check your inventory. Yeah. I mean, you're you're right. You are correct, but it's it's a little bit roundabout when I feel like it could be uh, consolidated. I don't mean to tell you how to do your job. But it's just a thought. We got some mushrooms ready to harvest. Uh, that's exciting. Someone in chat's right now. <laughs> Someone in chat is exasperated. Their head mashed against their keyboard. They're like, is it, Vin? Is it exciting? Okay, now a question I've asked and have failed at getting an answer to because I was busy not reading the chat. I'm going to actually look at the chat this time. What do I need to... Is it a cabinet? Can a cabinet store tools and gear? Um, mushrooms grow, grow super fast underground. Oh, that's good to know. It would be nice, like, to have the information about some stuff. Maybe there is? Maybe I'm just missing it? But, um, I don't know. Not current, uh... I want to build maybe a bin for these seeds. Just pause the game by accident. Let's see, zone. Seeds. Nope, they don't go in the, in the bin. That, that's going to be a deconstruct. You have two unused fishing rods. Yeah. Yeah. Bronze weapon rack for tools, I believe. Okay, let's see. It's worth trying. Bronze weapon rack. Bronze armor rack. This music is so chill, though. Seeds do, in fact, go in wooden crates, so that's helpful. Okay. Well, the problem with me going through, like, a wiki while I'm streaming is, um, it slows down a lot of... It slows down the, the stream a lot, which then again, maybe I shouldn't be attempting games I've never played before, if, you know, if that's how it's gonna be, but... Yeah. Cabinet doesn't have a description on the wiki, so you're all good. Okay. I just want to get these damn tools off the floor. Build... Um... I'm gonna... Build... Um, the mushrooms apparently... Underground... Grow very quickly, right? So, we'll just throw them down there. Our Emperor Chicken is, of course, doing well. Okay, we're gonna take away... We're gonna, uh, make these crates for seeds in particular. And remove the seed zone. 
Now we have more room for seeds. I believe. Which means we can plant wheat, we can plant all kinds of crazy shit now. More crazy shit. I'm also gonna need people to go out and get more wood. For fuck's sake. Yeah, no one's cooking at this campfire. Um, I might have to remove this campfire. Or, like, de-room it. And... No, not smithy. Campfire. So now food can be cooked here. And I can go to workstations, campfire, Cabbage. So I can do uh, 50. So it's just. If you have under 50, it cooks. I think that's how that works. don't have any chicken. Well, if we get it, then it'll work. I'm, I'm probably playing it wrong, but it's, um, it's okay. We got some chickens over this way that can be, um, tamed. Who, who wants a chicken sandwich tonight? Okay, who needs a bed? There are some children that don't have a bed. Those poor bastards. There we go, chicken collected. Okay, I'm actually friends with more chicken now. So we're just going to have a chicken room, I guess. And we have some things that can be harvested as well. All across the map. Okay. Everything's consolidated pretty nicely. Make sure to add them to the chicken room zone. This one got here quick. Do I just draw a zone on top of them? Room, not zone. Make sure they're checked and draw the box. My brain broke. Got it. Okay. Cool, okay. Um, I think we can plant some stuff now. And then I want to start mining for things, and if there's a lot you can do. I don't know what to do next, really. Wood gate. They can make gates leading to the place. But I really just want to make swords and stuff. Which means I need more ore. Ore, ore. So I, I will do that. But first I need to plant this wheat, because there's a, a lot of it. 
beetroot. And some more mushrooms, which will go underground. Or a clover. I don't know if that actually counts as food. But screw it. The crate thing was amazing. That, like, made st everything became ten times more organized. Oh, they're cooking some potatoes now, I see. Okay, now it's time to see... Workstations, right? Okay, so foundry. The mushroom needs to be in the dark. What happened? Someone dead? You see where my mind immediately goes? Okay, so we'll deconstruct that. And then I will also do, um... Workstation... Smithy... Why there no sword? There's sickle, but there's no sword. Let me see the blueprints. So they just fight with their tools. They don't actually use a sword or anything. Notification will let you know recent events. Tends to forget things sometimes, but it'll give you the gist. No advanced weapons until further ores, I believe. Gotcha. So we're stuck with sickles. I mean, you can still murder someone with a sickle pretty good. Help, I'm being kidnapped. What? What is this thing? Are these children? It's, it's dead now, whatever the fuck it was. Stone leaf bag. It's got wool pants inside of it. And a carrot. Huh. Pants. I guess that's a co the the cobalt equivalent. <laughs> the the cobalt tried to kidnap the kid with a carrot. Dear lord. What a grim situation. Someone's getting pants today. Boy, everyone has pants. Pants are compulsory. Is there a more accurate or a better method to finding different ore? Please put farming rooms on your crops. Oh, right. For finding ore, I usually dig long shaft down and then strip mine by building large shafts in different directions every few levels. I see what you mean, okay. Just have to figure out where to do that. Maybe like over here?
Probably gonna need a ladder for this. Oh, sh did you see that? Something was glowing over here. There are glowing things over there. They're gonna try to... Oh, oh, this just... Fuck. I just exited the whole place. Well, I guess we can make a door. We will make a door. Oh, God. Are these sons of bitches are going to be able to... I'm scared Vinny might die via a dungeon. That doesn't sound good. That's, that's a very... very not good thing. Figured out how to get down here. There's people in the way, so I can't set a ladder just yet. Are they going to be able to get out? Ladder has to go down to the lowest part. They'll get there eventually. And also, uh, it's getting kind of late, so I don't know how much more of this I'm going to be able to stream. But... There's a button on the toolbar in the build menu that lets you lock selecting pawns. Lock settler. Oh. So that means a settler won't be selected. I still have to wait for them to get to the lowest point. And game saved. So if I find a dungeon and get murderized, we're fine. still going down. How are they getting down there? They're making like human ladders. Success. Ladders are now in place. No lighting down here, though. I'm 
this will be the final task of the night, just to see what the fuck that sparkly thing was. Iron Lantern? It's not portable, is it? Lanterns are just our props, okay. I'm actually gonna build, like, some walls and stuff over them so that they don't die. Or so that invaders can't come in, rather. It's a little late. Cutting out this stuff. Okay. We have... We've got a cave. And it looks good. I mean, they're still trying to figure out what's down here, but it, you know, it's so far not a dungeon. Here. Cancel the other stuff down here so they can go straight for the shinies. Oh, it's they're almost ready for it. I think they just keep getting stuck on the goddamn ladder. I don't know if I built it correctly. We now have 99 plus cooked food, somehow. I don't know how that happened. And we didn't even have to kill the three chickens. Yeah, they're just going, they're going mental in the ladder shaft. like one at a time is able to come down here there's a, a very high gr level of activity on the ladders have one thing to do, which is go this way. 
and it's just not happening for some... Oh, this is Ridgestone? So they can't even get through there. Give them bronze picks. Fuck. Okay. Try going around too, yeah. It's a lot of Ridgestone. They're going to die before they can dig through that properly. So we got some bronze pickaxes. So I'm going to take my best miners and I'm going to... I'm going to equip them properly. This is uh, mining level 9, and he's got a fucking fishing rod. Seriously? Okay, well now they can pick up some better stuff. Still nobody wants to cut down... ...these things. Them things. The, the chickens is giving birth, by the way. I mean, they do eventually get through, but it just... Takes a while. They're not picking up their pickaxes. I'm still going to uh, attempt to build a cabinet for these tools because they're just on the floor. Fuck if I know if it'll work, but let's give it a shot. You may have ordered two guys to pick up the same pickaxe. I mean, that sucks. Seems like they got them. Now they got them. Alright, we're gonna speed this up. This goddamn Ridgestone. Oh fuck, Summer. The inventory is one of the, um, HUD's elements that needs a firm kick in the butt. Yeah, I can see that. I mean, there's still a lot of room for improvement and overhauling, but it's in a pretty damn good state as it is. Like, we're good on food for a while. Um... Cut. 
harvest. Check on the cave. It's going. It's going slow. And the people that are down here aren't even really miners. So, like, my best miners aren't even on this job currently. So I don't know what that's about. That sucks. I wish there was a way to, like, uh, do job priority. Or maybe there is. How about forbidding everyone who's bad at mining from doing it? Like, um... Okay. Level 5, level 4. We got some level 9s. We want to go with, I think, those four. Are probably the best people for the job. Now, now we have the good, we have the good stuff. isn't even good enough for the Ridgewood or Ridge Stone or whatever. Damn. It's going. Make sure you put farm roofs over all your crops. Some of them aren't getting auto har harvested. Okay. Okay, let me slow down time. Uh, this is, yeah, now it's really late. I mean, fucking time flies when I'm playing this game, but. Kinda do have to stop playing now, so. I just really want to know what's in that sparkly room. <coughs> Excuse me, where's the bacon? need better... I might need better tools. That seems like a given, actually. We, we've got so many idle people, too. They're just not doing anything. Check something. I could make some iron stuff. I guess this is a good life. Things are just kind of taking care of themselves. There are people that don't even have to work. Back in my day. 
All of us. All of us had to mine. 24 hours. Kind of getting closer to it. Pickaxes make wonderful weapons in case you're ever worried. Man, I don't even give a shit. I want to see what I want to see what's over there. Plant some stuff. In the meantime, I don't know what sandbur is, but plant that. Um, elderberries. Speaking of Monty Python. closer. Stations. I'm gonna go for one more. Oh, I, I can't do any more iron. I can only do those two. Alright. Where do they poop? Over here. In the rotten food area. A lot of teamwork happening over here. It's just Ridgestone is a fucking bitch. Um, I'm, I'm loading up the art now. Let me see how much art there is tonight. There's like one page. It's doable. Notifications. Had Fibonac is hungry. Well, go eat, you dopey bastard. What are you doing? Food's right up that shaft. This is a very peaceful land. Compare this compare this to the overworld. Where there are ferocious things lurking. Doesn't really need to be a whole lot of stuff going on. People could just chill. Just have people wandering around, no problem. There. Yep, we're there. It's, um... I don't know what the hell it is. It's copper and stuff. It took fucking forever to get here, but you know, it's it's copper. There's more over this way. Um jeez, copper. Hoping it would be like adamantium. Alright, well, it's done. And things are actually looking pretty good. We have chicken emperors, we have copper. One day I'll even figure out 
how to get tools and gear off the floor. But this was chill. I enjoyed this. Thanks for watching, if you did watch. I know this bleeds viewers, because it's not the usual stuff I do, but uh, it's also like almost four, so understandably so. I mean, this is a variety stream for a reason. I like doing a variety of different types of games. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you, uh, Mr. Developer Person, for helping out. And thank you, everybody else that helped. Sphinx, appreciate it. It was, it was good. I might come back to it once or twice, or at some point I might wait for a further release. Like maybe, you know, I'm, uh, sometimes what I do with games is I wait like a year. And I'll come back to it and see where it is in a year and then play it again. So that could be one of those games. 